Hey YouTubers! So judging from my videos, you probably think that my only interest in life is uh, lasers. Well, it turns out I actually have a lot of seemingly unrelated hobbies. And uh, one of those, actually, is uh, raising giant moths here. Now, a question that I get asked quite often is, why even raise these giant silk moths? Well, other than being really cute, they have a lot of amazing capabilities, which I'll talk about in a little bit. But I hear a few examples of some silk moths. So this green one right here is called a luna moth, and then this real big one is a uh, female cycropia, and then this little one right here is a promethea moth. So they're, they're really cool creatures. Now pretty much all the uh, giant moths in the world are from the family called Saturniidae, or the uh, giant silk moths. And there's actually two things that makes this uh, family distinctive. One is that the uh, caterpillars spin their cocoons out of real silk, and second is that the uh, adults actually don't eat anything at all. Uh, what little mouth parts they have are simply vestigial from their ancestors, and they, they don't even work. So uh, because of that, uh, they only live for about a week or so, which is unfortunate. And uh, all the energy they get is from when they're caterpillars. So uh, yeah, unfortunately they don't live very long. Now here are some luna moth caterpillars that I've been raising. They're pretty cute, aren't they? I've been uh, feeding them hickory leaves and they're growing quite nicely. And here are some luna moth cocoons that are spun out of real silk. And uh, if you want to see something funny, you can uh, shake them up a little bit and you can watch that they start rattling around there because uh, they don't like to be disturbed. So uh, these will hatch into adult lunas here soon, so that'll be pretty cool. Perhaps the most amazing thing about the uh, giant silk moths is actually in their chemical sensing ability. Those really big feathery antennae that you can see there are incredible chemical sensors. And in fact, can detect down to as little as a single molecule in the air, which is absolutely amazing. It's incredible that a little insect like this can do that. As a demonstration, I'm going to take this freshly hatched uh, female promethea moth and set her in a tree and see if we can get any males to come in. Uh, this usually works. It's a really cool demonstration. So it's only been a few minutes, but in fact, uh, she already called in a uh, male Promethea moth here. And uh, now, just to put things in perspective, this, uh, this moth can sense down to a single molecule per cubic meter of air. And now in a cubic meter of air, there are roughly 3 times 10 to the 25th molecules, or about uh, 3 with 25 zeros after it. So that sensitivity is insane. That's like taking 3 million cubes of white sand, one kilometer on each side, and being able to tell that there's a single black grain of sand in all of that. So that sensitivity is ridiculous. It's amazing that an insect can do that. Awesome. Well, that's about it for this video. Until the next time, stay safe and happy uh, mothing.